Guys, I am beyond blessed, stoked, and all the above. Something came in the mail today, and I am just so happy, so happy. A company called Yokoher Skateboards hit me up on my email and just offered to give me some clear grip tape because I think they saw in one of my videos that I was rocking clear grip tape. So I replied to him that. Then he goes, I'll do you one better. I'll send you a care package of assorted stuff. And uh, at this moment, I'm like a little confused what he means. And then he immediately emails again and he says, I apologize. I should have asked you first, is it all right if I send you a care package with a couple sheets of grip tape, decks, wheels, and shirts? And of course I respond and I say yes. So today the package came. It's huge. Let me show you. <laughs> this guy's not light. Dude, I cannot believe this. Thank you guys so much. This right here, I wouldn't be receiving this without you guys and all your support. So right from the get-go, I want to say thank you guys so much. Yeah, let's open this. Got this little square one keychain. I think it'll work to open this with. Guys, I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm just so... So, so happy. I'm so happy. Holy cow, guys. Okay. Okay. Jeez, man. All right, dude, it's all one huge thing. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Guys, let's start with the note. Have fun shredding this stuff. Nathaniel and then his number. Nathaniel Brown, thank you so much. P.S. If you're ever in SoCal, come skate our local Ayala Skate Park. Ayala Skate Park, I hope I'm saying that right but I'll definitely go to SoCal soon. My grandma lives down there. Holy cow, man. Did they just want to hook it up like the fattest ever? I don't, like literally insane. I think this is just like a catalog. I don't know. It's funny because they have a picture of this guy right here. And this is at uh, Sunnyvale Skate Park, which is close to me. We got a lot bigger note. Dear Kelly, I really enjoyed to watch everything you and the Braille guys do. You have all inspired me to get back into writing after about five years break. You guys look like you really enjoy each other's company and it's really nice to see. Many of you guys film road to sponsorship videos and persistent videos, but I was wondering why don't you guys create Braille decks of your own? I think it'd be something nice to have as you guys film your videos and work your way into a sponsorship. Plus you guys could give them away or sell them. Though I know it may cause an issue with Revive and it would make a whole lot cheaper for you guys, maybe less than $15 a deck to skate rather than always having to buy new decks. Plus they could be any custom graphic you guys want. So it's a win-win. I'm gonna address that right now. There's a little bit more in the note. I think Braille can never do that to Revive. Revive has just supported Braille since day one and supported Aaron specifically, of course. I can't really speak for Aaron and the entire Braille crew, but I think that's what their thought is, but they definitely have thought about probably making skateboards before. Either way, I hope you really enjoy this care package. There are a couple of decks, shirts, and grip tapes inside. You can share them with the dudes or you can skate them all, totally up to you. But thanks for being responsive to my messages and emails and thank you for just making videos that I can enjoy watching. Attach is my number. Call me if you need anything. Sincerely, Nathaniel Brown. All right, let's dig into this stuff. First of all, we got some non-logo wheels, 52. We got a white set. So satisfying to open like a new, fresh, in the plastic shirt. They sent me three t-shirts. Oh, wait, no, two. Oh, it just feels really thick. Oh, wait, no, three. No, two. Two. All right, they sent me two t-shirts. Same one. Sick, I get to give them away. That's awesome. You guys, leave in the comments below how I should give these away because I want to give it away to you guys. This is going to be so satisfying. Dude, no way. More t-shirts. There's four of them. We got four of those right here. These are all larges. The other ones were XLs. I think they have, I think we have, I think we have smalls over here too. The idea at first was clear grip tape. So I think one of these is clear grip tape. Okay, we got two things to clear grip tape. Purple grip tape, and I think this might be checkerboard. I'm gonna wait to open these because it's always a pain to have to like roll them back up. Super sick, clear grip tape. We're gonna get a board setup coming soon, guys. Comment down below if you wanna see a board setup. And uh, we have a bunch of mediums of the same. Okay, this is the one thing that I actually was kind of concerned about that I just thought about right now is that I wonder if he sent me like my board size. It's not really a huge deal back here, but obviously I'm super grateful if he sent me anything, but it's just like, I wonder if he sent me the right board size. Dude, this is sick. This art, I don't even know. Yoka Her Skateboard since 1997. You got this rad bird on this. Okay, this one does say 8.0. And uh, many of you guys know I actually ride 8.25, but I've actually been thinking about going down to an 8.0. So now I get to shred an 8.0, see what it's like. He knows that I love clear grip because he sends me the boards 
with the colorful top. So this is gonna look sick in clear grip. And this is also an 8.0, so maybe I'm gonna change it to 8.0. Ooh, fire food, look at this. It's like a Pikachu, crazy Pikachu. This one is just so clean. Yoko her skateboard. Not all those who wanted are lost. All these designs are super sick. And this one actually is an 8.25, so there's always this one. I'm still in awe. Like I, I just, I can't believe that Someone would send me all this stuff. I feel like, I feel like Chris Chan. If you've ever seen Chris Chan and his unboxings, how insane they are. It's gotten to the point right now that I, I feel like, like him. It's like crazy. It's, it's insane how people love Braille so much and how they love my videos so much. It's made this big an impact on some people that they're willing to send me hundreds of dollars of free stuff. I mean, I can't thank Nathaniel from Yoka Her Skateboards enough. The other day I was watching some past videos of mine and it just got me thinking how at that moment I never thought that this YouTube channel or even my skateboarding would ever take me really to where I am today. From when I started skateboarding, I always thought like it'd be super sick to receive stuff and like free gear and be sponsored and stuff like that. But looking at it now, all this stuff, as great as it is, I'm not saying it's not, it's amazing. If anybody's out there and is jealous of what I'm receiving or something like that, just know everyone out there that this is not, I'm not making this video to show you guys like, oh, I have the nicest stuff. I have all this, look at me. You know, I'm not trying to do that for you guys. I do these videos because I think it's motivating. I think it's like, if you work hard enough, you can you can receive stuff like this. You can achieve what you want to achieve. You can you can be the recipient of free skateboards. You can, it's, it's just up to you. So when I first started a YouTube channel, it wasn't for the money. It wasn't for anything like that. It's not even to this day, it's not about that. It's, it's honestly, it's been for the entire time. It's been about my passion. It's been about, I love making these things. I love skateboarding and I wanted to show some people. In the society I live in, the area, the little region I live in, in California, skateboarding is not super accepted. And I bet in other places around the world, it's even worse but it's always kind of been looked down upon. When I told someone for the first time I was a skateboarder, they kind of looked at me and like gave me that stereotype. You know, they thought like, oh, drugs, oh, this. You know, you don't know what they're thinking, of course, but it's just like they had that stereotype against you. They just assumed that you're a bad person or they just assume that you are rebellious. But no, for me, skateboarding has always been a healthy activity. It's always been positivity. It's never been bad. I've ne like, skateboarding has never led me to anything bad. So the first video on my YouTube channel was this documentary. It was for my share project in eighth grade. And it was the first time I really made a video about skateboarding. The entire middle school and a lot of people from my middle school was aware of that video. I wouldn't say I was bullied, but it was just, it's rough because you go to school every day and then they already had that, oh, he's a skater now, you know? And it's really annoying and it's frustrating that people don't accept, you know, people are mean and stuff and people don't accept you for who you are. And uh, I remember just going to school and just, you know, if someone brought up skateboarding, I, I always tried to like change the subject because I was ashamed. I was like, people didn't like me because I skateboarded. They liked the other side of me, the, the non-skateboarding Kelly. All the hate, towards skateboarding at the time was definitely heartbreaking to me that even some of my closer friends would tease me about it and like all the videos I'd be making. But then I realized like at the end of the day, it didn't matter. I loved skateboarding and I loved filming and making videos so much that I kept doing it. It was my passion. I didn't really care at that point. Yeah, it hurt. Words hurt. Haters gonna hate. So this is what I did for the majority of the time I've been skateboarding until about a year ago is that I kept quiet. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody about my skateboarding and uh, I wanted to keep it that way because of what happened when I was in middle school and when I first started my YouTube channel, it's basically skateboarding. So I think I made a Instagram for my skateboarding. I had an Instagram for my like personal account where I would just, where I wasn't a skateboarder basically. And so I made this account, Kelly Wakasa, of course, my name, it's, it's the Instagram you probably know me as. And this was the Instagram that most of my friends did not know of. I made this Instagram account in freshman or sophomore year. I can't really remember. It was one of those moments again. It was like, oh, am I getting, I'm getting a little teased like for doing something like this, like making a skateboarding account on Instagram. It was similar to the, my YouTube channel. My Instagram 
grew way more rapidly than my YouTube channel. And I felt with every like thousand people and every follower I got, I was more comfortable telling people about my Instagram. And to this day, people come up to me at school and be like, oh my God, Kelly, I just found about your Instagram and stuff like that. And they're super supportive. And it's crazy how, how people can just be supportive if they can see success. But if they don't see success, they can't see importance or significance in what you're doing. They just hate on it because it's strange, it's weird. That's what pissed me off about my skateboarding in the beginning. At this point, obviously, I'm not mad. I'm extremely happy that I've persevered through all that hardship, I guess. I mean, it just it's just, when people come up to me and are super hyped, that, uh, that they find my Instagram, like our friends and stuff, and they're like immediately like nicer and stuff like that. It's just like, dude, you used to hate, you know? And it's like, now you're this, cause I I gained some followers and stuff. It's just, it's just, it's mind boggling to me how people can just see you in a completely different way if you have success. And to everyone out there who doesn't feel like they're successful yet, just wait, just wait, be determined, just go out there, do your thing, be passionate, go and pursue your passion. And then, yeah, there's gonna be haters. There's gonna be all this on the way. And But then you get to a point where it's just those haters turn into people that admire you and envy your success. And that's why I feel that everyone who hates is just jealous. Thank you guys so much. I just wanted to tell you a little story about how I got to where I am today and maybe gave you some, a little bit more motivation to pursue your passion because I think everyone should. And uh, I think we're kind of put on this earth to do that kind of thing. But please go check out Yoka Her Skateboards, link in the description. Go check them out. I mean, they're an amazing brand to hook me up. Also, if you have any ideas about what I should do with this extra gear, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. I do these videos all the time. Yeah, thanks for watching.